My name is Natalie Schmidkamp. Okay, my name is Shania Fallon. My name is Jeremiah Collins. My name is Dakota Tempty. I am 11 years old and I am part of the Youth in Action Council at Urban Arts. Well, we have meetings to talk about how to better Kid Power and how to better like the after school program that they have and how to make people want to keep on coming and have fun while having, while learning how to do different art techniques, techniques and learning different things. They get to decide what projects they do and they usually help benefit urban arts. Whenever I can, I usually draw puppies. I make really cute puppies. I like foxes too, so I usually just draw an orange puppy. <laughs> Cut out little dip pieces of paper and glue them onto other little pieces of paper and like make stuff out of that, which is fun. I like little crafts like that. Football, soccer. Sometimes drawing, if I have time. What do you like to draw? Cartoons. Oh, maybe like reading a comic. That's I've like read a comic this morning, and it was like they were actually studying graphic graphic design in the comic. So I guess it's just making a plan out of something and like trying to use different aspects to make it to make it what graphic design is. I guess. Um, like a story? I introduce them to like a lot of work that's really fun, interesting, and get them really excited about the fact that they can actually do some of these things. My name is Nehemiah Nesheim. I uh, am an illustrator and designer working here in St. Paul, Minnesota and I graduated from the Minneapolis College of Art and Design. And I've been doing design work for probably the past eight years or so. So the course is a, uh, that I'll be teaching is a graphic design course for uh, uh, students who are but some middle schoolers. And uh, the students are gonna cover all sorts of things ranging from learning motion graphics, uh, maybe even some animation. Uh, we're gonna be learning how to use this software, but a uh, big part of what we're going to be able to do is learn how to create work, present that work, and have uh, constraints that we would find in the real world and use our own creativity and skills that we've gained to um, bring things out and create things and show the kids how they can learn how to do this on their own as well. I think there's a lot of crossovers between design thinking and being able to uh, solve problems in other uh, facets of education, uh, living and being in the real world because design thinking involves uh, creativity, it involves uh, planning, it involves organization, it, um, thinking outside the box, all of these different things and kind of putting them together to get a result and I think you can use these skills uh, basically in a lot of other careers that are probably going to be a lot more uh, prominent in the future as well. So we already have computers here that we can use and um, on the syllabus we already have uh, plans developed to use all of the infrastructure we have. Yeah, even for like college again with the reports, but also like, I'd say that you wanted to have your own shop, all the stuff that's like the boards that say everything, that's also graphic design usually. Do you remember last week I asked you to go home and like look for stuff that was graphic design? What were some of the things that you found? A uh, DC book. DC comic book? Yeah. Have you ever thought about making a comic book out of puppies? That would be adorable. <laughs>